yes good morning students today we are going to continue with the same chapter that is understanding shapes and we'll be dealing with polygons today yeah in the previous videos i've already told you what a polygon is yes and the types of polygons what a six sided polygon is known as what a five sided polygon is known as today and we are going to derive a formula and we have already seen the internal angles of a polygon if this is a polygon then the internal angle what is an internal angle and what is an external angle you should know yes if i say this a b and naming also i told you d e is a polygon okay now these this is interior angle this is interior how many if it is a five sided figure how many interior angles will it have five if it's a six sided figure it has six interior angles now let us understand what an exterior angle is when i produce this ab side ab to this side the angle so formed yes the interior angle is this and the exterior angle is this okay the adjacent angle adjacent to the interior angle yes is called the exterior and what will be the sum of each interior plus each exterior angle what will be the sum because it is a straight line and they form a linear pair so the sum is 180 degrees clear if i know that this is 50 degree or say this is uh, 80 degrees what will be the exterior angle to this 100 degrees yes or not and same way if i extend bc yes towards c the angle so formed this is exterior angle if i produce cd yes produce it yes this angle is exterior angle how many exterior angles similarly i produce this this is exterior angle and if i produce this i get this is exterior angle So how many exterior angles are there? One, two, three, four, and five. If there are five interior angles, there are five exterior angles, and the sum of each interior plus exterior angle is one eighty degree. If I know exterior angle, I can find its adjacent interior angle, and if I know interior angle, I can find its adjacent exterior angle because they form a linear pair. Okay. now this was the concept about interior and exterior angles of a polygon now when i see now look at this table that is formed children yes we are going to derive how you know that what a triangle is yes and we know that the triangle has three sides so n is equal to 3 we can say n is equal to 3 here number of sides in a triangle is a polygon yeah and number of triangles formed it is one triangle so what is the sum of all angles which i have already explained in the previous video why the sum of angles of a triangle is 180 degree we all know clear now coming to a quadrilateral any sort of a quadrilateral it can be a trapezium a rhombus a square a rectangle or any any sided four sided figure is called a quadrilateral now if from one vertex i can draw this i have just joined this and a triangle can be thought of forming a it is said to be formed from two triangles a quadrilateral sorry a quadrilateral is formed of two triangles yes a quadrilateral has how many sides four sides how many triangles it is forming two triangles yes number of triangles formed this two yes so what is the sum of all interior angles of this will be equal to the sum of two triangles yes if one triangle is 180 then two triangles will be equal because it is formed from two triangles so sum of all interior angles is 360 this also we have i have explained you in the previous video that the sum of angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees now this can also be written i'll come to this later okay now coming to this now here what is the number of sides pentagon means pent means five pentagon means five sided figure Yes, so this is a five-sided figure. I I hope you can see that. And from this vertex, if I join this, I get three triangles. So we can say that a pentagon is formed of three triangles. Yes, one, two, and three. So number of sides five. How many triangles? Three triangles. So what is the sum of all interior angles of three triangles? Will be equal to one eighteen to three, which is five forty degrees. Eighteen three is a fifty four and five forty. Similarly, we can go for hexagon, septagon, octagon, and so on. Here, number of sides is six. The how many triangles are formed? One, two, three, and four triangles are formed. Yes. And what is the sum of interior angles of four triangles? One eighteen to four. Now, see, children. 
quadrant. Now, if you see this triangle, leave this triangle, coming to quadrilateral, if it has four sides, two triangles are formed. If it has five sides, if the figure has five sides, then three triangles are formed. If the figure has six sides, then four triangles are formed. So, what is the relation that we can say in this? How many triangles are formed if the number of sides is given? Yes, if there are n sides, if there are n sides, I don't know how many sides, n, n number of sides are following. Then how many triangles? See, it is always 2 less than n. You can see, this is all n minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 minus 2 is 4. So, we can say that the sum of since two triangles, four-sided figure, how many triangles are formed? Two triangles, n minus two. Five, five-sided figure, how many triangles are formed? Three triangles, that is n minus two. Five minus, sorry, five minus three. Six-sided figure, six minus four, six minus two. Yes, six minus two triangles are formed. So, two less than the number of sides. How many triangles are formed? If a figure has n sides, how many triangles will be formed? 2 less than the number of sides. Uh, if there are these many triangles, what will be the sum of interior angles of a, paint, uh, of a polygon? Into 180. Why into 180? Because sum of one, uh, one triangle, angles of one triangle is 180 degree. So you can say like this. Okay. Now we can do this. I hope you've all understood. Yes, in a quadrilateral has four sides. Number of triangles formed is 2 less than n n minus 2, 4 minus 2, that is 2, 5 minus 2 is 3, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, in the, if we find how many triangles are formed, yes, we can find the sum. So, 4 minus 2 into 180, 5 minus 2 into 180 or n, if there are n sides, now if I say, if there is a polygon which has 22 sides, what will be the sum of all interior angles? What will be the sum of all interior angles of a polygon having 22 sides? So, we write N is 22. So, how many triangles formed? How many triangles are formed? When the figure has 22 sides, is 22 minus 2. That is 20. So, what will be the sum of all interior angles? Sum of all interior angles will be equal to interior. Please, I am mentioning the word interior. It is not exterior. I'll teach you about exterior angles also. Yes? So, it's interior. We are only talking about interior angles here. Sum of all interior angles will be equal to 20 into 180. That is 18 to the 36, 3600 degrees. So, we have generalized. So, what can we write? Sum of, note down this formula, all interior angles all interior angles of a polygon polygon is given by the formula what is the formula yes how many triangles are formed if it has n sides yes we generalize it if it has n sides so number of triangles formed is n minus 2 into 180 hope this is clear yes okay Please note this down. This is very, very important. Use several times. Okay, this one more way we can write this. The another formula that we use is 2n minus 4 into 90 also. 2n minus 4 right angles. If I take from 90, 180, if I take 2 inside, so 2 and this becomes 4, we can also write the formula as 2n minus, but this is easier. Yes, but this is easier. If in MCQs they ask you, n minus 2 into 180 is same as 2n minus 4 into 180. So, you should know that. You can apply that way. Okay. Now, we have talked about, we have already talked about regular polygons in our previous slide. What are regular polygons, children? Polygon having all sides equal and all angles equal. All interior angles are equal or exterior angles are equal and all interior, all sides are equal. Now, all interior angles are equal, then what can you say if it is a regular polygon, then only? Each interior angle, now this is sum of n angles, is n minus 2 into 180. Now, each interior angle of a polygon will 
be equal to what? How can we find this? If there, is a, there are n sides, yes, we know that the sum of interior angles of n sided polygon is n minus 2 into 180. But if it is a regular polygon, regular polygon, yes, if it is a regular polygon means all angles equal, all sides equal, all these sides are equal, yes, all angles interior angles. Then each interior angle will be equal. Yes. So we can say that the sum that we are getting, if I divide by the number of sides, we get each interior angle. Of a regular, of a, you can write here, of a regular polygon. If it is irregular, each interior angle will be different. Of a regular polygon is n minus 2 into 180 upon divide by the number of sides number of angles you can say or number of sides then okay if it has n sides if it, it has n number of angles yes and triangles form this n minus 2 sum of all interior angles of a polygon will be n minus 2 into 180 each interior angle of a regular polygon will be equal to n minus 2 into 180 upon n note this formula also children in the next video i'll teach you about the exterior angles thank you